Hello, my name is Victor Christensen and I'm the director of Checkpoint.com. Today I want to show you how to crack the VEP encryption of a Wi-Fi router using the portable penetrator. I'm now here in the start wireless audit step 1 of 4 and I click on begin wireless audit. I have connected a very strong 8 dbi antenna to my portable penetrator to get the longest scanning range. We can see here it will update every 15 seconds, so if I'm walking around with a portable penetrator inside a building or walking around outside, it will keep update the networks in the air wherever I go. This is very useful if you are sweeping for Wi-Fi networks. And now the output is being generated. We can see here all the network information, such as the network ID, the MAC address, how many users are connect connected, the speed of the network, what type of encryption is being used, the signal power, the channel it is running on, and the network name. I will now scroll down and click on stop scan and select network. And remember you are only allowed to attack your own network or your customer's network if you are doing a penetration test and you have the written permission. So I now click on the MAC address of my own router and I scroll down and I have two te techniques I can choose from. The first one is called the IVS brute force and this is very useful when many users are connected then it will force one of the connected users to do a lot of traffic and then sniff this traffic to crack it. If no users are connected like in this case here the fragmentation technique is very useful. This technique will sniff an XOR packet and then inject this into the target router to force it to create a lot of traffic that it can sniff and crack. I now click on the launch audit. And now the audit has started and the sniffer is running. When you are cracking a VP encrypted network, this can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 minutes to 20 minutes or to 1 hour or to several hours. This depends on how much traffic is being generated, the signal strength it can uh, sniff the traffic on and how close you are to the target router. We can see here it has now authenticated and I can click here and then I can see it is waiting for the gold packet and the password cracker. It has now got the fragment packet that it needs to inject into the router in order to force it to create a lot of traffic. And the password cracker has started and I can click on the running to see what the status is. So far it has captured 48 IVSs and for a successful crack of the key you need somewhere between 20,000 IVSs and in some cases up to 40 or 50,000 IVSs or even 80,000 IVSs. Now it has 28,266 IVSs and we are getting closer to getting the key. And now we have 43,781 IVSs and it now finally got 59,592 IVSs and we got the key. So I click on back and back and here we can see the key in the interface and I can simply copy paste it to connect to the target router. So thank you for watching this video presentation and for more information please visit secpoint.com. Thank you.